Walnut Grove Baptist Church is named, you guessed it, after the grove of walnut trees that were around it when it was originally built. As you look around the parking lot, you'll probably notice a couple of magnificently tall trees in front of the church. Those are not the walnut trees from when it was originally built. However, if you walk around to the cemetery on your left, you'll notice a few spindly gray trees, which just so happen to be some of the original walnut trees. One may notice that the sign on the front of the main church sanctuary says 1841, but the stonework is dated 1846. That's because Walnut Grove was meeting in 1841 without a building. One of those early meeting places was at the house of Mr. Edward Sidnor, who later donated the land on which the church now stands. Inside the church, you can find Mr. Sidnor's Bible, displayed along with the building deed. During these early years of the church, Walnut Grove was one of the few churches that allowed African-American slaves to worship in the same venue as their white masters. At one point, there were more slaves in the congregation than free men. Outside the church is a stone with a metal plaque on it. This plaque was set up by the church to commemorate the meeting held there on June 27, 1862, between two famous Confederate generals, Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson. This was a very important meeting indeed, as it created the battle strategy that successfully pushed the Union troops all the way back to their gunboats at the coast. The church was ground zero for a number of battles during the war, including the Battle of Cold Harbor and the Battle of Gaines Mill. During this time, the church served as a hospital for both Union and Confederate troops. No church services were held. After the war was finished, though, the blood stains from the wounded warriors could not be removed from the floor and still remain there today, although they are covered up by red carpet. Reports say that the recovering soldiers used the ends of the pews in the church as targets for firing practice. Buried in the cemetery are about five Civil War veterans who did not survive the war, as well as a number of veterans who lived past it. One of the soldiers who died during the war was a certain Private Sidnor, son of the Mr. Sidnor who donated the land. Walnut Grove is full of history and is constantly finding more. In 1996, while an oak tree was being cut down, somebody noticed an old piece of metal. As it turns out, that piece of metal was actually a hitching ring that was hammered into the tree and used to tie up horses during the Civil War. The following year, when expansions were being made to the church, a team of workers pulled an old Civil War sword out of the ground. It was originally owned by a Union soldier, identified by its hilt. As you walk around, keep your eyes open. Who knows what you'll find?